Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good other day. Hey, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to come out of my silence. I'm going to give you a review of one particular strike fighter that came out. And what is this strike fighter? Where is the pan special strike switch? So this bloody thing, uh, <coughs> I believe that is one of the best, if not the best, strike fighter out there. It is very, very reliable, very fast. Uh, it is able to take out air targets and, well, it's just incredible. So what I'm going to do for this session in particular is I'm going to take it first to a test and then I'm going to do a couple of online matches over here. Right, so everything is going to be quote unquote uh, not live. This is this commentary is after after doing the video, but I'm going to get it as this. So as you can see, this is a Strike Fighter. This has a high. It's very maneuverable. Has high speed, like insane high speed, I would say. Uh, but what's the best feature of this plane uh, in particular? Well, it has these three missiles, two of them, which can hit at a long distance. You're going to see me over here that I'm going to try out how far I can be from the target and hit it. Uh, so as you can see, we're increasing around now eight kilometers, we're passing nine kilometers and now it stopped. So roughly same between eight and nine kilometers. Uh, that's a huge distance, you are able to shoot down your missiles. So I'm going to, you're going to see me shooting down the two long missiles over here. As you notice, the, the yellow one is on the focus on the long ones. I want you to focus on the damage. So, look at that, it's almost 161 damage. I mean, it's, it's a huge amount of damage. Uh, more or less, because obviously this strike fighter of mine is, sorry, my my carrier is doing some damage with a defense with a huge chunk of damage. That is, you also have the short distance missile. This one charges faster and is very useful for taking down aircrafts or for baiting the flares of the opponent because it charges up very quickly. You have multiple bullets that you can shoot with the, this missile, yeah, the yellow one, so it is pretty much high measurable, you can see, you can very quickly switch direction, yeah, go on a vertical ascent and then you can continue flying. Uh, as I take down the ship, uh, what I'm going to do, as you noticed, something, something different over here. I don't recommend you to do this at home. But uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to use this particular aircraft carrier. It's the first one that you can get once you reach level around 15. Yeah. It's, uh, it's reliable. But for this particular reason, as you notice, this is a price just in case. You already know, 9k art coins. Uh, I mean, the reason why I to put this video out is because we have pretty much a discount for getting art coins. Uh, and it may go away for quite a long time. It's not a must, uh, but if you are able to purchase the ship, I think it's going to be very good. Now, I'm going to take out this very basic aircraft carrier on purpose uh, for the particular reason of showcasing the minimum amount of things that you can do with the strike fighter. Now I'm bringing this drone in particular just to open the map and to keep it like going in the air and trying to take down aircraft because it has the second missile. Right? So remember this is on cut. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, this first match I'll have to say the good thing uh, is that uh, there was someone, well, I don't know if it was the strike fighter, sorry, the aircraft, 
carrier from the opponent or someone else, like a ship that was taking down my ships very quickly. So this first game in particular is very tricky because there's someone that is focused and trying to be done. Uh, is that something to panic? Not necessarily, because if it's the strike fighter that is focused on my airplanes, uh, he is not doing as much damage to my uh, allies. So, to every strategy, everything has its pros and cons. Yeah, that. But for now, let's focus on the strike fighter. As you can see, uh, as long as you are able to keep uh, the vision of your opponent, you are able to fight from afar. But in some instances, uh, if you need to open the map, uh, if you get too close, and because you only have two aircraft, uh, I'm not saying it's a huge downside, but uh, it's, this ship is not meant to get too close to the opponent. It has a huge leverage, you can stay there for quite some time, but if you have two or three or four ships, and then you get in uh, and start attacking, uh, to the opponent on an area that you cannot see anything and you cannot open the map then unless you have two strike fighters it's going to be okay so as you can see you see me open the map again the strike fighter as you know is targeting my ships nothing that i can do about that uh, but uh, again that way they, i'm going to run multiple matches uh, and that way you are able to see all the pros and cons of the strike fight. So you are already are finding these cons over here. So if you don't open the map, you have another ship that opens the map, for example a fighter. Or a secondary strike fighter is caught in the drone. Uh, and don't, you don't keep the map open while you are doing that, uh, then you are not able to attack for that. However, if you are able to do that, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying my best over here to keep my drone alive, to keep the map open, so I can strike and can take things down. So, in this type of situation, you all the map, so you are able to strike from afar, and that's when you, this can do marvelously, because you can just attack from afar, you can inflict huge damage, you don't need to get too close, and you can continue striking on the enemy. You can decide to cover. Uh, me personally I prefer to stay on top of the ships while I'm fighting my bullies uh, just for the reason that I uh, am not able to see the missiles come. So that's the only reason. Here I decide to go all in uh, just for the simple reason that you know we just want to make sure that we win the match. We have an advantage over here. So whatever I do from now on, this match is almost almost won uh, unless for some forsaken reason and you like an uber ship from the opponent starts taking everyone down which is unlikely uh, this is already one so, so you can see now we're going just to take the time uh, uber, yeah, continue showing the strike fighter you see you have it over here strike from afar remember to always try to keep your opponents alive and this is pretty much done Another thing that this aircraft is good is that you can also take planes. So as you can see, in a situation like this, for example, you have one or two allies alive and you against the strike fighter, you can use this, this strike fighter to start taking down the planes from the opponent. Uh, and these are tactics, of course. You can decide to attack the, the, the carrier head on if you do that, you risk your allies dying. Uh, or you can focus on the planes, try to keep your allies alive, and if it can. But the point that I'm raising of is that this strike fighter has the option, so you can decide. That's the thing. So some strike fighters, uh, you either have to focus entirely on striking down ships and not air. Sometimes you have a combination, yeah? So every strike fighter has its, its pros and cons, obviously. But this one is flexible enough to put it this way, enable you to decide what to do. So you are not 
tied to, to a particular strategy. You can do multiple things over here. Okay, so that was match number one. Uh, GG to our opponent and to us. Uh, very particular game. Again, I'm showing this because it's good to have multiple matches so you can see as many situations as possible. Let's put it this way. Now the second match, uh, for some reason, is happening at the same map over here. <coughs> We're going to let it load as we continue. The strategy is going to be the same. I'm going to open the, the map with my drone and then I'm going to continue showing off what this strike fighter can do. All right. Uh, going for the second match. Uh, this one, just in case, uh, it is a loss. It is a loss. Now I'm going to actually stand back and analyze what happened. It's good to learn from you know, your mistakes. Not everything has to be win, 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 win. No, I mean, you learn from your mistakes or you see what you could have done to make, to, to win. Or simply things happen, the matchmaking and things like that. Uh, so, let's see. For this particular game, we are opening the map as usual. We do not have submarines so we don't have to worry about that that's the thing the strike fighter cannot hit submarines so for that it's, it's always and i mean recommended not mandatory but if you have a bomber that can hit submarines, it will be good because if not you have to rely on your submarine your ally submarine to take down the other submarine and sadly, most of the times, people don't know what they're doing with their stops. <laughs> so, here as you can see, I'm talking from afar, everything is looking good. Uh, as I analyze this, uh, I will say uh, something that may happen. Well, I, I used all my bullets, I was not able to inflict a lot of very heavy damage in my opponent is very much aware what they're doing. Here I focus too much time on trying to take down that plane. I even think I miss my strike fighter here or not. Uh, it leaves. Okay. <laughs> With a slither of a life it leaves. So that was the first uh, round. Let's go for the second round. Let's see what happens. So we have two ships. One of them is very close. Close to death. So are going to see me try to destroy that ship over there. Yeah, it's the Jin Yamato. Uh, we can take down their hey, what's it called? Their battle cruiser. Yeah. Uh, that's a huge win because usually that ship does the most damage to your allies. Alright. So yeah, you see, I was able to take it down from afar using only one plane. Yeah, it's not like I am using I am my drone. I don't have a bomber. I am literally just doing this with my strike fighter. And, and I am able to inflict heavy tons of damage, uh, which is very good. We see one of our allies dying. Uh, yeah, the thing because we return back, we have to open them up again. So we are going to go into that. Yeah. I think this is not the one map I'm going to uh, Next time, just in case I'm going to try to use a, a, an aircraft carrier that has a fighter. Uh, well, uh, so for preferences, I think the standard is to everything. Uh, but the standard practice is to have something to open. Something that keeps the map open. Right? So, okay. Uh, what happens over here? Again, second advanced ship. I am starting to take down its life. Uh, I'm getting close because I'm putting emphasis on trying to, I mean, reduce its health as much as possible. Uh, but the idea of the was just to try to keep the distance to keep my plane safe, especially because I only have one, I don't have two. Again, that's a mistake on my side because I need to use the Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> so just having multiple ships and one dies, 
Uh, so what happened over here? There's not much that can be done. It's one ally decided to go by themselves. Yolo decided to be Rambo. Uh, the other one uh, was just over here hiding. Uh, that's the last one. Uh, so in this particular case, I mean you'll have to try to do a 4v1 with the strike factor. Is it impossible? Uh, no. Uh, uh, you are going to see me some doing something in the, the next match for this type of situations with this ship. But that is pretty much all. So what happened over here? Uh, again. Uh, yes, it's a strike fighter. Yeah, that will need to use the map of the first. Second thing. Uh, ideally you want to have another ship that is able to continue attacking while you are returning your strike fighter again unless you have to do it with teammates uh, most of the times they are not able to survive so well uh, that's the second game yeah there's not much that can be done about that the only thing i have to say is we fight to the death this is a strategy character and Sally is not going to be available anymore because we've got the nothing Against one, maybe against two, uh, too difficult. But I was still the one that did the most damage. Yeah, so you know, I'm using a very basic carrier over here. Yeah, the cheapest carrier uh, on tier three. Uh, I'm, I'm still doing some heavy damage over here. Uh, here, uh, you see me not going on. I mean, it's not like I'm angry or anything like that, but I'm thinking on alternatives. What would be a best drone to open the map? Uh, this one in particular, I mean... <laughs> I was itching to use in my epic drone, if I'm completely honest, but uh, no, we want to keep it... Uh, uh, you want to keep it as... As... F well, I don't want to say free to play friendly, but we want to keep it as... As normal as, as it can be. Okay, so third map, yeah, Stone Peaks, a very particular map, uh, because this this is one of these maps that you have to move your carrier at the beginning, or you are going to be done so. So you can also see what can you do with your strike fighter with your single strike fighter on a map like this. Mm. Obviously, here you have an advantage. Uh, Again, I have not touched this carrier for quite some time, but in this third map I started to realize that it felt almost like a RF storm. So I should have taken that into account, when you, because when you're playing with that uh, carrier in particular, the, your th way of thinking on the game changes, your tactics have to adjust. So it's not like the standard... Uh, Gameplay is pretty Anyways, uh, back to the action. Uh, I am going to open the map. Don't do what I did. This is a mistake. Turn the ship completely, start moving, and then you don't have to see me going on a 347 looking at everywhere, wasting time. Don't do that. Okay, so you are always going to see me turning first and as I am close to setting my direction and I've opened the map again I'm going to start with my strike fighter I see I plan my strategy over here my allies are going to the left so I'm going to support them I'm going to do more than I do. the ships that are going to be facing my allies um, again your strategies can change you can go for the CV uh, but uh, this is the safest play. Will you go for the CV? Yes. Uh, 
but you will only do that if you know that your allies are going to go for the CB. So sometimes a message or two telling your, your allies go for the CB goes a long way. But anyways, so as you can see, I mean, huge amount of damage just from my strike fighter again. This, it almost feels like it's been hit by a by a bomber. It is ridiculous the amount of damage that I can do. Now we are going to go back into the action once again. Uncontested, we are going to continue helping our allies to the left to finish the job. Yeah, because that's your, that's what you have to do as a strike fighter. You have to reassure that low health ships stay dead. Like a hammer. Like a, you are the freaking hammer. Comment. Thank you for Sangria for, for the previous comment on that video. But anyways, so yeah, we made sure that ship is dead. So we have done, we have given strategy. Sorry, not a strategy. We have given here the advantage to my team. Obviously, there's going to be one person that goes YOLO. Oh, there's always that one person. At least they are Rambo. They have a fast ship and they. They just decide to die by themselves. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there, there are gameplays for everything, but anyways, I'm not here to judge. Or maybe I should judge. Don't do that! Don't kill your ships unnecessarily. Alright, don't go Rambo. But anyways, uh, my daughters, uh, here you are going to see me change direction, yeah, because uh, most of my teammates are going to the left, so I have to go to the left. If I stay here by myself, I'm going to do two or three ships, and that's not the best of the So now that I know that I'm very safe, I'm going to again start opening, start inflicting some damage. Uh, this time around, I well, I could have opened with my drone, but because they are quote unquote spread, you know, my the enemy ships are all over the place. You uh, go directly where they die, but I can inflict that much amount of damage as possible. We are not out of the woods, we have two, two ships against them. So if I die, I'm going to be dead from Can you see me defend? Pretending that I am the Arab Storm. It's very interesting. I to have the ship to defend the food. I deploy my helicopters. And most of the time I recommend to deploy your helicopters when they are getting close so you can defend yourself unless you are going to open the map. Okay. Yeah, this is just a reference to Sangrilla. Amazing player. I recommend you to see his channel in the description down below. He opens the map with a helicopter. But that is only recommended to have a very fast helicopter good strategy. Okay. Otherwise, use your helicopters to try to defend yourself against ships and also carriers. Helicopters also take them. Okay, so I'm going to start wrapping up this session by saying uh, take this comment into account. Uh, you have, if you are on defense, this is for people that are in defense thinking. Sure, I get the strike fighter. Sure, I get the strike fighter. Sure, I get the strike fighter. But it's too expensive. But uh, it looks. So I hope this commentary helps you uh, to decide. Uh, also, thank you very much for more than 100 subscribers. I really appreciate uh, you seeing this content and hope to see you again. I didn't realize I was the last man standing. You see? <laughs> uh, geez. Sometimes it happens again. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh